Hi guys, my name is Sherry. I love getting tons and tons of questions from you online and I respond to what I can. I don't always have the time to, to get to everyone. So today I thought we'd do a little Ask Sherry. I printed off a list of some of your questions so I can give you some tips and advice and answer some of your questions because I really like it. So keep sending them to me. This one's from Brandon and he says, is it easy to install those whole home surge protectors? Yes, it is easy. However, you need to have a licensed electrician in order to do so. So you don't have to do anything, which makes it even easier, but make sure you hire the proper person to come in and do it. And it's really important to also have, uh, say there's lightning that strikes in the area, you could lose all of your electronics, all of your tech in the house, which is way more expensive. So definitely protect your home, but make sure you hire the right person to come in and do it for you. This question is from Sandra, and she says, what type of floor covering can be used on top of the Schluter flooring system? Wondering about the vinyl tile planks. Yeah, you can absolutely use the vinyl tile, pla tile planks, pardon me. Um, I wouldn't put carpet over a Schluter system, although you can. I'm assuming you don't mean the in, the in floor heating Schluter system, because um, then I wouldn't put any kind of, um, pardon me, carpet on top of it. However, yeah, you can basically put any flooring on top of that Schluter system, any kind of tile, you're good to go, extra waterproofing. From Dave, I've always been curious, who pays for all the work on the houses of your dad's show? Dave, this is a question we actually get asked a lot. Um, it's kind of a mix of several things. So we get a budget from the network that goes towards filming our shows. And a lot of the times, we blow through that budget. We spend a lot on the renovations. We want to make sure we're giving these homeowners what they deserve, whatever we can. A lot of the times we also have uh, some trades donating their time. A lot of companies will donate furniture and materials, which is really great. So we work together to see what we can give them. And then when we go over budget, which you know we're currently doing, which we do very often again, we usually, our company puts in money, my dad has put in money from his own pocket. We just want to make sure we do the best work we can possibly do and give them everything they deserve. So to answer that fast for you, it comes from us sometimes. Network, us, and really amazing partners and trades. This question is from Eric. And always making a huge difference and impact in people's lives. Can't wait for more episodes of Family Effect. There's only four episodes. Do you know when there will be more? I know there's only four episodes. I wish we filmed, we got to film even more. We were actually supposed to film a little bit more. Unfortunately, with the pandemic, COVID hit while we were mid filming and it really took a toll on our schedule, budgets, on everything. Um, so we just couldn't get those extra two shows in. I would love it if we were given a season two. That would be awesome. And then we can keep filming. I think it was a great series. It was really fun for us to film because we weren't just helping one homeowner or one deserving family. We were helping a community and hopefully having that just, it's a tidal wave and helps so many more people in the future. So we really felt like we were reaching a lot more people with that series. And I, I would love to continue filming it. And I'm so happy you liked it. This is from Lynn. I'm happy that you took Riley from the old school. That makes me a proud alumni. Oh, that's great. Please tell Riley I said hi. And how is Riley doing? Please keep me posted when you can. I saw Riley yesterday. She is amazing, first of all. She has so much drive, so much passion. She's going to be so successful in life because she wants to be. She fights for it. She works hard. I wish I was more like her at her age. I wish a lot of people her age had that kind of drive and work, work ethic <laughs> and that work, that work ethic because Riley is, she's such an amazing girl. And I love having another woman interested in getting the trade. So it's great to have taken her on and have her work with us. This question's from Lori. I rent, so no major menos here. Nothing wrong with renting, by the way. What suggestions do you have to create more storage space, storage in small spaces? I think that's a great question. Um, a lot of people are looking into storage, especially now because we're at home a lot. Um, I think using vertical storage is not done enough, especially if you have children. I try to, try to use every usable space I possibly can. So whether that's over the door hangers or um, extra baskets added in closets or storage ottomans, anywhere that you can kind of hide things. Uh, for instance, my daughter's toys. Um, I have a cabinet in my living room. It looks nice, but really it's filled with a lot of her junk. It's all toys. It's all things that I don't want sitting out in the middle of the house because my house is more open concept, which is pretty on trend. A lot of people have an open concept home. You want to find a place to get rid of those things that you don't necessarily want everyone seeing. So 
Hidden storage, uh, vertical storage is a great option, and maybe doing a little bit of work in your closets to make it work better for you. And this question's from Brett. What's the best way to patch a hole in your drywall? There are lots of different ways to patch a hole in your drywall. I think it really depends on the size, where is it a hole? Because if, if you have a hole in your drywall, this is a really cool product. It's actually a patch for you. So you put it over top of your hole and then you can patch that, which is great. You don't have to mess with any drywall. Drywall is a lot more work. You don't have to cut back to the studs, which again is messy, more work. You literally take this out of the package, stick it on your wall, and then you can mud over top of it. There's different sizes. So this is a four by four, six by six, eight by eight. They also come in different thicknesses depending on the size of the hole you're repairing. So this is a thicker one. It's a larger size. You wait for them to dry. Once you stick them on, you mud it, you sand it, you're good to go. Touch up your paint. It's done. It's that easy. You can buy this online. I love this product. It's called Fiba Tape. Make sure you check it out. It is the simplest way for you to fix those patches in your house. And really, it's, it's so much more mess free. This question's from Julie. Hi, Sherry. I think you're amazing. I think you're amazing. Thank you. I'm a single mom and watching you. Gives me strength and determination that I can work on my own house. First of all, momming is super hard. So good for you. Single mom, I can only imagine. I'm exhausted all the time. Um, and you can absolutely do a lot of work on your own homes or even educate yourself so that you are aware of what you need and what you're looking for when you're hiring in those trades. That way you're confident and can go into it without that worry of being taken by anybody. And there's a lot of little DIY projects we can do by ourselves. It makes us feel more confident and makes us feel successful. And women can do everything a man can do anyway. This question is from Marissa. Help Sherry, can you, do, <laughs> can you come do renovations in Switzerland for us? I a thousand percent know who this is. This is my best friend who lives in Switzerland, has to be. And uh, she just bought her first home, and, her first home ever. Uh, in Switzerland and I can't wait to come and visit. I would love to come and do renovations. I would love to do renovations all over the world. It would be fabulous. Make sure you say hi to Mirko and Mila for me and I miss you and thanks everybody for all these questions. Please send me more. I love it. It's a really fun video to film. Have a great day.